Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Tomorrow, Alan Greenspan and the Federal Reserve are expected to raise interest rates a quarter of a percent. But as Newslink Indiana's Jill Crean explains, the effect on East Central Indiana will be minimal. Just recently, a rise in interest rates was announced, but mortgage brokers from around the country have been preparing for the increase for months. Your interest rates are pretty competitive, whether you're in Indiana or California or New York, uh, pretty much set by your financial markets. Professionals in the real estate industry say consumers should not worry. Some people will jump more quickly into their homes uh, to, to get, get the rates locked, to, to get into the homes that they're looking for uh, as quickly as possible. Others make, may back out, but I, I think a quarter percent is not going to have a major impact. Here's why. Say a person making $2,100 a month or $25,200 a year wants to buy a $100,000 home at tomorrow's interest rate of six and a quarter percent. Their monthly payment will be a little over $615, meaning they could still afford the $100,000 home. However, if the interest rates were raised a full percent to 7%, with income levels the same, the home buyer's monthly payment would then be over $665 meaning they could only afford a $93,000 house, a difference of $7,000. So will interest rates increase again? Mortgage broker Dan Reidenauer says to look for big hikes after the upcoming election. In Pendleton, Jill Crean, Newslink, Indiana. The Federal Reserve is expected to make its announcement tomorrow afternoon. Well, in just a few minutes, the Muncie School Board will hold its second public meeting about the possible closure of two elementary schools. The first public hearing was June 15th. At that time, the board only listened to concerns. Tonight, they do plan to answer questions, but won't take any action on the resolution. That resolution calls for the closure of Garfield and Claypool Elementary Schools and the renovation of other elementary schools, as well as Southside High School. The meeting starts at 630 at Central High School. Well, now here's Jennifer Cook with a look at our forecast. Jennifer. Thanks, Chris. Tonight we're going to be seeing clear skies. We'll be sitting at a comfortable 59 degrees. Currently, we're sitting right in between a frontal boundary to our north and to our south, but we're seeing this high pressure system move east. As it does, it's going to bring us sunny skies for the day tomorrow. Also, for tomorrow, we're going to see a warm up trend begin. We're going to see a high of 82. Chris? Thanks, Jennifer. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com. Thank you.